Hi everybody, this is Noelle from Petites and we're on location in this beautiful home. And we just wanted to show you kind of a, a normal houseplant layout. And we're out in this, I guess you could say sun porch. It's all windows. This is actually Eastern exposure, Northern exposure, Southern exposure. So you're getting a lot of light out here. And so wanted to show you some of the bright light plants that absolutely love it out here would be something like bromeliads. Bromeliads add such a beautiful color to your home, give you a really great tropical sense and they're easy care. That color in their foliage last for nine to 12 months typically. They are epiphytes, so they grow on top of rainforest trees naturally. And so they really don't need a lot of water in their soil. They actually, you wanna water in the middle of their vase or what they call a cistern. Their foliage makes this kind of vase or cistern. And so when you're watering, you actually just water, you pour water into the vase, into the middle of the bromeliad. You let it sit there for a week. And then when the week is over, you dump it out and you replenish. That's it. So they're wonderful for bright areas. And again, when you're talking about bright indirect lighting, um, again, we, we're kind of in a shady uh, neighborhood. There's lots of trees around, okay? And so they're getting this bright and direct lighting from all these windows. Not too much direct sunlight, but that's perfect for them because of that colorful foliage. Now, behind me, I've got eucalyptus, and it's adorable, and I know a lot of people are into eucalyptus and all those kind of essential oils and fragrance and all those types of things. Um, but eucalyptus is a full sun plant, so try to get it as close to a southern window as you can, um, maybe even a western window if you can, trying to get that direct sunlight on it. And I have a feeling with all these windows over the winter, it might be a little bit cooler in this part of the home, and that's good too, because eucalyptus uh, over the winter, they like it a little bit cooler. Keep them inside as a house plant, okay? Um, so that's excellent for them. This is really good placement for the eucalyptus. And then look at that beautiful money tree. Um, money tree, we love them because they're an easy care plant. They like medium moisture and can take a little bit more. So if you're a waterer and you like to water a lot, this is a good plant for you. The other thing about them is that they are a wonderful pet friendly plant. Bromeliads are pet friendly as well. So kind of think of those bright light options that you can put in your home and just have really good success in a nice open, you know, lots of windows area. Now, here we are in kind of the main living space. And again, not as many windows. We just have this front window section and it's facing north. So again, the closer the plants get to the window, you're in that bright indirect light phase. But as you pull them back, you're getting into this medium indirect light area. And so we have this beautiful ficus, it's called ficus triangularis, and it is just a lovely bushy ficus, lots of variegated color. Ficus family need medium and direct light. They can take some bright and direct light too. Don't want necessarily direct sun, but they do need more light than some of the other plants that you've seen before. Sansevieria, this is a newer variety. It's called La Rubia. And La Rubia is a great plant. And I should say Sansevieria are great plants because you can put them anywhere from low light, getting further into the room, all the way up to those bright and direct light conditions. So this plant's perfect for that. Over here, you can tell I have another Sansevieria. This is just your standard classic Sansevieria here. Little pot right in kind of a, a darker corner. We're still getting a little bit of light from the sunroom and that front window, but it'll do nicely right here. And when the lamp's on, gets a little bit more light in the evening. I have the variegated peace lily here, domino. Nice little uh, coffee table plant, if you will. Again, low light area. And you can tell as we get closer to these windows, even though there's southern exposure back here, there's lots of trees in the backyard. So in the winter, you might get a little bit more bright, or excuse me, light, 
bright light coming through. But again, smaller windows, a little bit more narrow, up a little bit, so still kind of a lower light condition down below. And I just put this cute supernova ZZ plant up here. I love this dark foliage. Kind of goes well with the TV screen up here. But it's a nice little accent that you can put up. Again, darker area up on the mantelpiece. Now, as we walk into the dining area, this area is on the western side of the home. So we're getting north and western exposure up on the buffet. So again, more windows, a little bit more lighting. Beautiful Chinese evergreen on the table, that cyan pink. Really, really pretty. Just makes a nice little centerpiece. We have um, the beautiful begonia over here. This is one of the new Jurassic Park uh, Rex begonias. Um, and it's absolutely gorgeous. Beautiful silvery burgundy color. You know this one. This is the inch plant. And so, or Tradescantia family here. And um, really beautiful trailing color. And these guys, again, they can go in bright in direct light to more medium. So, and again, you'll see a little bit change in their color. Maybe they fade a little bit in lower light, so you can push them a little bit closer to that uh, brighter lighting. But again, no direct sun. They really don't necessarily need that direct sunlight. Over here, we have the Phalaenopsis orchids. Now, Phalaenopsis or moth orchids are gonna be lower light orchids. They like that bright, indirect lighting again. So we're getting that from the northern exposure. We're getting it a little bit from this western exposure window. No problem whatsoever. And I kind of have, just to soften the area up, I have that beautiful parlor palm. It's a Neanth Bella palm. Nice compact palm, feathery texture, and that's great for low light levels. So you can stick it like back in the corner behind some other plants, and it's shaded beautifully. Now, we're gonna take you upstairs. We're gonna uh, take you into a, a bedroom, hallway, and a bathroom, and um, just show you, again, just a little bit of placement for the plant material. I forgot about this, Taylor. I forgot about the side table here in this living area. Again, since we're further away from the windows, we're more than 12 feet away from that northern exposure window. Um, we're talking about low light plants again. So we have beautiful Camille Diefenbachia. And then down below there, we've got that Chinese evergreen. This one's called Wishes. It has a nice red color to it. And again, if that color fades when it's down lower, just kind of push it a little bit closer, give it a little vacation, a little bit closer to the northern exposure windows, get it to color up again, and you can kind of move it back to its place after a while. Sorry, now we're going upstairs. We're in the, the hallway, the second floor hallway, and it and it is dark. Even though we have doors open from the rooms, again, it's not, it's not a room that has true windows in it. So this is an excellent area for those low light plants, your ZZ plants, your uh, snake plants, um, Neanth Bella Palms, all those guys. And so we have the ZZ out here. This is just the classic ZZ throwing off some new green growth, but it looks beautiful here. Just nestled right in this little side table. Awesome, really, really easy. Now we're gonna go into this bathroom here. And of course with bathrooms, we actually tend to keep the blinds closed, right? <laughs> so what happens is you are decreasing the light that's in here and, but we have a lot of humidity. So things like the Boston ferns or any of your ferny family, they love being in bathrooms. And they typically like that medium indirect light to bright indirect light. But as long as you have humidity constantly around them, I shouldn't say constantly because we're not in the shower all day long, but as long as you have a good humid condition for them, they are so happy. So try your fern family in here, no problem. The orchids would like it too. And actually Taylor's by a really big peace lily and she's gorgeous, kind of just nestled in the corner there. Looks really, really nice. Again, we've got some Western exposure and some Southern exposure, but it's always very shady back there. And then the West side, there's some trees as well. So again, it's not true South and West. Just keep that in mind. You've got a bright indirect light condition when the shutters are open. And then you've got a kind of a low light condition when the shutters are closed. Okay, so now we're gonna go over to this bedroom. And um, again, opposite side of the house, 
So here we are, eastern exposure window, southern exposure window. But again, with the shade trees and everything else, it won't get super bright in here until the winter, until the, the leaves fall off the trees. So kind of nestling this beautiful Diefenbachia here. This is called Marianne. She's so pretty that that foliage color variegation is absolutely gorgeous. Nice, easy, low light plant that can go into medium bright, in, or excuse me, medium indirect light is really, really great for the Diefenbachia. Get more color as it gets a little bit more exposure. And then of course, one of our most dependable are our pothos, and we love the pothos. Um, family. This is actually White Queen, I think. Marble Queen, sorry, Marble Queen. And Marble Queen has got that beautiful white modeling, green foliage. Sometimes you find the foliage is like half and half, marbled and then green on the sides, which always makes it fun. But this is a great, this family is one of the easiest families to take care of. It's sort of a relative of the philodendron, um, can take some drought, can take low light, can take bright light. Um, it, it's just a wonderful plant. So do enjoy your houseplants throughout your home and we'll see you next time.